Hey guys and gals, and every here from Drake Queen Gaming, and some of you may on Twitter, The Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at another Let's Play episode of Tennis Ace. I believe we are in June's path. Anyway, y'all, before we jump into it, just let me, just wanted to let y'all know that our Patreon is now up for as little as $5. Y'all can help support the channel and get some awesome rewards like permanent access to our community Discord server and full access to upcoming Not Safe for Work videos. And anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. I'm actually also thinking of possibly doing YouTube... Uh, what is it, YouTube not part, YouTube memberships or whatever, so, like, we already fulfill all the criteria for it, so it may as well, like, if y'all don't want to do Patreon, we can just do YouTube memberships and have all the same benefits, so. Yeah, we'll probably, uh, end up doing that. Anyway, let's see, where are we at? Okay. <sighs> Better than a lazy bum? Um, maybe we should get going. There's no point hanging around by the school gate. Why the hurry? It's not even 4 p.m. Dinner's not until a couple hours, at least. I know that, but I'd rather be doing something other than hanging around by the gate. Well, neither of us has club activities today, so we don't really need to hang around school until then. Perhaps, but we also don't have any other places to go to. That's also a fair point. Ooh, how about we play some card games for an hour or so? Pass. What? Why not? You're kidding, right? You always get mad when you start losing. Mizuguchi-san, you're kind of the definition of sore loser. You yelled at me the last time we tried to play, I doubt it. Forget yelling, you always punch my shoulder when you get upset in a game. Saya looks down at the floor, her cheeks suddenly slightly tinted red. Well, I mean, I get a little annoyed because of all the RNG. That's an understatement. Well, do any of you guys have some sort of brilliant suggestion, then? We could just go around town and window shop. We do that all the time already. Can't we pick something a little more involved? Sure. Want to pay my house? I said more involved, not slave labor. Uh, case case and I don't think you've got a good grasp on the concept of slave labor you're of the of the slave the, the concept of slave labor you're comparing that to painting a house. Oh shut up, I was just using hyperbole. Sure you were. How about we go bowling? It's been a long time since we last did. That could work. I've never played bowling before. Isn't it expensive? Not all that much, but I can just pay for your uh, pay for your share. Are you sure? Absolutely. It's more fun with more people anyway. This does, give us a, give us a, this does give us a chance to get some nice competition going, too. For sure, we can have fun just trying to outdo one another. Yeah, you can also egg them on so they get frustrated and lose. And Mizuguchi-sen, that's kind of a scary thing to say. I don't think you should do that, devil woman. Stop calling me that! Shuichi clears his throat, making the hymn sound to catch our attention. I think bowling sounds like a fun way to kill time before dinner. Is anyone against the idea? I think it sounds really fun. Agreed. As long as I get to kick someone's butt in a game, I'm happy. And if you don't, you'll probably kick Yuichi sound in real life anyway. I like the sound of that. I know! Huh. Arriving at the bowling alley, we walk up to the front counter to set up a game as well as rent some shoes. Man, it's been a while since I've been here. The place feels so much cozier now. What? It feels it feel so nice in here. Say thank you to the air conditioning for giving us such a comfortable environment. Thank you, Aircon san Um, I didn't mean it literally, though. If I'd known we'd be coming to a bowling alley, I'd have brought bowling shoes for myself. What's wrong with the rental ones? I don't like the idea of shoving my feet into a used shoe. You don't like anything. That's not true. I like you. As hard as it is for me to believe. Wait, why is it hard to believe? We're good friends, goddammit. <laughs> you don't take it seriously. I was just joking. Somehow I have difficulty believing that. Second you it is water time. I am drinking pear hibiscus fizzy water today. It's actually quite good. It's got a lot of flavor to it. What? There's so many balls in here, and they're so shiny. Well, yeah, you need, do need balls to bowl, after all. Yep, that's why Saiyachan is so good at it. Shall I cut your balls off and use them to bowl instead? Whoa, scary. You just had to poke the hornet's nest, didn't you? I just realized I didn't even blink to a, to a threat of extreme violence, and that worries me a bit. Yeah, sorry, this means that you're officially one of us. I suddenly feel conflicted. How do we decide, how do we decide the playing order? How about a coin toss? <laughs> We're five people in here, you know. Think of how many tosses that would take. Hmm, fair enough. We could just use an app to shuffle our names on the phone and get the playing order from that. Phones can do that too? So cool! Oh yeah, the wonders of modern technology. Don't mock him, Shuichi. 
I was being mocked? See? No harm done. Ugh, this guy. Here, just a sec. I'm gonna play the randomizer button now. Alright. Shouldn't someone explain the rules to me first? No need to worry about that so much. You just throw the ball and score points. The machine will calculate your points automatically so you don't have to think about it too much. Oh, uh, alright. You're just saying that because you're too lazy to explain the rules to him, aren't you? And make him miss out on the hours of fun while he figures things out on his own? I couldn't do that to him. Alright, I've got the playing order. It'll go like this. Mizuguchi-san, Urata, Kobayashi-kun, Iwichi-san, and me. Wait, why am I dead last? Now here's a playing order I can get behind. Rats. Uh, Saya-chan, could you please get us started? Of course, time to kick this game into high gear. Why does hearing her say that fill me with dread? I just hope high gear doesn't mean opening a hole in the ceiling with a ball. Hey, that only happened once! Wait, something like that actually happened? Oh, yeah, it, it happened. Didn't you end up paying for the repairs, Keikun? I did. The fact that the, the fact that, that didn't clue you in into my family status scares me to this day. Heh, <laughs> sorry. Time to get started on this bitch! And Mr. Gucci-san, please watch your language. We're in public here. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Saya grabs a purple ball from the ball rack, studying for a few seconds. Once she seemed satisfied with it, she smiled happily and walked up to our lane. She lined herself up for a second before swinging the ball and releasing it. The thrown ball rolls rapidly through the clear lane and... falls into the gutter. What? I can't laugh, y'all. It's gonna give me the hiccups. Oh, wow, you were talking yourself up so much and you went through the first one into the gutter. Oh, my God, my sides. Ha, ha, ha. To which he immediately explodes into laughter, doubling over himself and tapping his knees repeatedly. Keisuke stands right next to him, his entire body quivering as he attempts to suppress his own laughter. The only one not laughing is June, who looks at the entire scene with pity in his eyes. C cut it out! Stop laughing at me! I still have one more ball! Well, with the way you were talking, it sounded like you'd be doing a strike, so it's a little funny. Not you too! Miss Gucci san good luck. See, at least Junkun has my back. You'll need it. I hate you all! Saya huffs, grabbing another ball and walking back to the lane with heavy steps. This time she doesn't meticulously align herself like she did before. She merely swings the ball violently and throws it into the lane. And knocks down six pins. Not bad, over 50% at least. Nah, I was aiming for a spare! I'd be glad that you didn't just throw it in the gutter again. Pick it down. Water time. And that is some good water. Mm. June tugs on my sleeve, trying to get my attention. What's a spare? That's a term for when you knock all the pins in your second row, in your second throw. If you knock them all down on the first one, it's a strike. If you do it on the second one, it's a spare. How many points is it worth? It depends. If you get a strike, then it'll be worth ten points, plus the amount of pins you knock down in your next two throws. So if you get a strike in one frame and then knock down six pins on the next, you'll get a total of 22 points. It's a similar case with a spare, except you get 10 points plus the amount of pins knocked down on the very next throw and so the next two, th so the next two throws. Ah, too many numbers! My head hurts! If this is all it takes to trip you up, then you're screwed come midterms. Please don't remind me. If you'll excuse me, it's my turn now. Try not to break anything. I'm not Saya. I heard that! Good to know. I guess you can cancel your next visit to the audiologist. Saya stares him down with murderous intent reeking off of her. Why are you looking at me like that? You hungry or something? Jesus Christ, man. Don't anger it. Okay, okay, I'll behave. Suichi chooses a ball, still chuckling. He, of course, goes for the biggest and bulkiest size I have available. Since he is by far the strongest among us, he can easily just go with the heaviest ball without any issues. Being able to use the heaviest ball also, mean that he also means that he has that much more momentum on his throws due to the added weight. Like Saya did before him, he aligns himself for a second and swings his arm to, the th to throw the ball. Unlike Saya, however, his first throw makes contact with the pins. Damn, only four. Knock three more of the next throw and you already have Saya beat. There are nine more frames to play. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. Or your balls before they crash. Uh -huh. I'll already be happy just by avoiding last place. Really? Why's that? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, one second, y'all. Air caught my throat. Ugh, okay. Irona tends to get last place more often than not. Really? I never thought there'd be something that Shuichi said is bad at. I'm bad at most things, actually. You have no idea how much effort it takes me takes me not to suck. I can confirm, Shuichi sucks at most games. 
I don't spend much I don't spend much time playing games. So that's no surprise, really. But now, if you don't mind, I have to play my second ball. Shuichi throws the ball once again, this time narrowly avoiding the gutter. Luckily for him, the ball grazes past a single bin that knocks three others when it goes down. Woo! Lucky! Two more points than me. We're not off to a bad start here. Ugh! Now, now, now's my turn to play. Don't worry about it so much, June. Here, let me show you the different ball sizes. I'll walk you through. I'll walk you through them from the lightest to the heaviest. Do a couple of swings with each before going down to the next. Why are we doing this? Ideally, you want to use the heaviest ball you can comfortably swing. The heavier the ball is, the more momentum it carries. So it's best to always stick with the heaviest possible. It's as he said, you basically go up until you can't swing comfortably anymore. If you feel like a certain size would hurt you and would just be difficult to throw, you settle for the one below it. Okay, I didn't think there'd be this much prep work involved. It's fine. You only have to do this once to figure out what size is best for you, and then you can stick it and just stick to it. I show June a few bowling balls so he can familiarize himself with them. I also take the opportunity to give him some pointers on how to properly swing and throw the ball, making sure to correct him when he makes a mistake. It takes us at least five minutes before he's figured out how to do it properly, and then a couple more minutes to find the ideal weight for him. Second, y'all. Water time. Okay. God, it's good water. Alright, this one's an 11 pound one. This is what you'll be sticking with. Why are they in pounds? The weight markings depend on the manufacturer and country of origin. This video tends to stick to ones that use pounds for some reason. You can also find places that use kilos, though. Hmm. And by the way, which balls do you guys use? I use a 15 pound one. Should we use a 16 pounds? Sai and KSK both use 13. So I'm the weakest of us all? Hey, at least you avoided the child sizes. Anything below 10 is usually for children. So I'm barely stronger than a child? How's that supposed to make me feel better? Well, we're talking about children that have already, that already have experienced bowling. You're a guy that doesn't exercise. You can't expect to start by playing the heavier ones. Mizuguchi-san and I are athletes, and we still use size 13s. I don't know why you're complaining. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jim kun if you don't mind, could you take your turn? Oh, right. June hesitantly walks towards the lane with his ball in hand. He tries to line himself up and aim like I taught him. To be honest, I'm totally expecting this first ball to go straight into the gutter since he's never done this before. I just hope he doesn't get too upset if it happens. June takes a swing and... The ball flies into the lane next to us going right into its gutter. Ah! My ball! <laughs> I immediately smack Shuichi upside his head. Ow! What's the big idea? Don't laugh at him. It's his first time. You'll just discourage him from playing. Ugh. Sorry. It's fine. I really messed up pretty bad, huh? I mean, Yuichi's right. This is your first time. It's normal to be clumsy, but it. it's normal to be clumsy. At it. Um, I guess I'll try again now. I nod at him. Try to give him an encouraging glance and a thumbs up for good measure. From the look on his face, I can already tell it wasn't very effective. At least it's the thought that counts, right? Jun grabs another ball, walking every, walking every, even more timidly to the lane. He tries to adjust himself differently from next time. At least he's trying to make adjustments based on the last one. Some people tend to just get frustrated and throw the ball at random. Alright y'all, I'm going to go ahead and pause it right there. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and that notification bell. And check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Anyway, I love you all. I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye